Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tundra Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its heated front seats, you have your navigation system as well as your parking sensors. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Tundra Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps. Taking a closer look just at your front bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors. Over on the side you have your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your air foldable mirrors and taking a look on the inside of the mirror here you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with the blind spot monitoring indicator it will actually light up just learning that there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gray. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls, automatic headlights and open and close for your power rear window. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your window locks, power locks and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your seek function, volume control, voice recognition, mode select, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and cruise control. Now I'm just going to start up the vehicle just so I can show you a couple of the additional features that you'll see on here. Now with your multi-informational display you'll see a couple of different options on here so as you can see you have your speedometer as well as your range, trip info, you can also scroll through and take a look at your navigation, audio, lane departure alert, as well as your tire pressure monitoring, trailer brake, and then you'll also find your messages in the new settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off, rear cross traffic alert on and off, and a couple of other additional features. At the very top of that screen you'll see the exterior temperature gauge. Down below just on the right hand side you have your parking sensors on and off, traction control on and off, tow haul, and your trailer brake. Now taking a closer look just at the center dash as well as your touch panel display you'll see a couple of different options on here. So inside your apps menu you'll find your navigation, audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features. You do have that uh, XM satellite radio with your dual zone climate control settings, hazard lights, 4x4 select, and your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot or how cool, uh, cool hot I should say, that you would like it. Now, <clears throat> underneath you'll see the USB and auxiliary input with the two power outlets matted to an automatic transmission. And if we take a look just at the top here, you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror with your integrated garage door opener. And a couple of the controls you'll see up top here include your open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof. Now I'm just going to throw this into reverse just so I can show you what the backup camera looks like. So as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall or if you're trying to hook up your trailer. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper. You're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. Located on the back here, you'll find your backup camera as well as the lock for the tailgate. And I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo bed just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. But as you can see, you do have the bed rail system in here. So with the bed rail system, you can readjust those cleats that you see on either side there, place them all on one side of the bed rail system, or take them out altogether, just depending on what your needs are for. Now over on your right, left, front, and your back side, you're going to see a couple of areas where you can tie down some loose cargo, just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.